so you're welcome to my youtube channel so this channel basically is going to assist you if you are an accounting student this channel is going to help you in terms of financial accounting tax section management accounting and auditing all right so on today's lesson we are going to focus on a tax section basically this is the first part when you are doing a tax so uh, remember before we we start with the gross income you firstly have to determine whether the person is a resident or is not a resident okay so remember if you are born in South Africa for example you are a resident of South Africa no matter how long you're gonna stay outside you will be always regarded as a resident of South Africa okay however what happen in case where you, you are not a South African resident but you are from other country however you decided to come and stay in South Africa what happened do we regard you as a resident or as a non-resident all right so now the SARS come with the solution to do a physical present test so what is physical present test we have to count how many days you have been staying in South Africa then if you meet all requirements of physical present test you are going to be regarded as a resident if you, you have been regarded as a resident simply means that when they tax you they gonna tax you the same way they tax a South African resident okay so let's go through a physical present tense a physical present test must be done each year okay so we have only three requirements that you have to follow when you do a physical present test very simple question all right i hope at the end of this lesson you will be able to do a physical present test okay requirements number one they say a person must exceed 91 days in aggregate during the current year what is the current year the current year is the year that we are in right now for example we're in 2022 simple means that is our current year all right they say a person must be staying for more than 91 days not 91 days but more than 91 simple means that a, a person must stay 92 or more okay is the requirement number one that you have to check does the person stay more than 91 days you have to check that during the year of assessment then requirements number two you have to check exceeding 91 days in aggregate during each of five year of assessment preceding the current year of assessment all right in other words for example they are saying that this person in the last five years he must be exceeded 91 days on each and every year for example they're saying if we are in year 2022 they're saying year 2021 2020 20, 2019 2018 2017 that person each and every year must stay in south africa for more than 91 days it must be 92 or more that's the requirements number two that you have to check remember you don't have to count the current year of assessment in that previous five year you have to take note of that okay number three exceeding 915 days in aggregate during the five year of assessment preceding the current year okay so on the requirements number three what they are saying the, is that except the current year on the previous five year that person must be in south africa 
for 915 days. In other words, if in 2020 the person stay 100 days, in 2021, 100 days, which means that it will be 200 in total. So each and every year you have to do it to add for the for those previous year. So if those days are more than 915 days, this requirement will meet. Remember, in order uh, for fiscal present test met a resident, each each and every requirement must meet. All requirements must meet. If one requirement doesn't meet, simple means that that person will not be regarded as a what? As a resident. Simple as that. Now let's go to question. Here we have an example. Okay? Example 1. Mr. Jakarta is a resident in Zambia. He has been working for more than 10 years in South Africa. Alright. Mr. Jakarta is a resident. He is from Zambia. But he has been working in South Africa for more than 10 years. He has been here for a long. However, sometimes he returned home to see his family as they did not move together. Which means that Mr. Jakarta each and every year, there are some days that he doesn't stay in South Africa. However, we can't assume that this person is a resident or is not resident. We have to do what? A physical present test. Okay? During the year of assessment 2021, the following information were provided to you. Then they said Mr. Jakarta was present for the following days. In 2021, he was there for 120 days. In 2020, he was there for 270 days and so on and so on until 2016. So, in this information, now let's go to a required part. On the required, they said, number one, explain if Mr. Jakarta will be resident for the year 2021. What do we do? We have to apply those principles, those requirements. Okay, let's go back to the requirement. Requirements number one, they said, in the current year, the person must stay for more than 91 days. Let's go and check. Does this requirements met? Our current year is 2021. In 2021, he stay for 120 days. Simple means that Mr. Jakarta met requirement number one. All right. Now let's go to requirements number two. Requirements number two, they said, in the last five years, he must be there for more than 91 days each and every year. Okay, let's go back to the information. We have to check from 2020. We don't count current year. So, in 2020, he stayed for 270 days, which means it's okay. In 2019, he stayed for 130. It's okay. It's more than 91. 2018, it's okay. 2017 is okay. 2016 is okay. So in the previous five years, he stay each and every year he stay more than 91 days. Requirements number two has met. Then requirements number three, they said when we add those previous five years, it must be 915 days. It must be more than 915 days. Okay, which means that we have to add 270 for 2020, 130 for 2019, 130 for 2018, 250 for 2017, and 250 for 2016. If you add all those days, you will find that they are more than 915 days. Simple means that the requirement number three has met. Simple as that, which means that we are going to conclude that Mr. Jakarta will be a resident in year 2021. All right. Number two, they said, if Mr. Jakarta was present for 56 days in 2019, 
will be he regarded as a resident of South Africa in that case. All right, now let's check. The requirements number one is still going to meet because in 2021, he stayed for more than 91 days. But requirements number two, which says that he must be in South Africa for 91 days for each and every year, for five years, for the previous five years. But in 2019, in this case, they said it's 56. Does 56 exceeded more than 91 days? No. Which means that Mr. Jakarta is not going to be a resident in this case. Simple as that. All right. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you, you have any question or if you have any chapter that you want me to do, Simply comment below on the comment section so that I will prepare for the topic that you want to learn. Then hit subscribe so that when I upload the video, you will able to see. Thank you so much. Have a good day.